Good morning. I have been enjoying the cooler weather lately. Have you? It just feels a little bit like fall today and it had a little rain so I didn't have to water the garden, which is nice. So one of um, Chaplain Greg's favorite sayings about God's timing is that God's time is never early, but it's also never late. But the story I'm going to read you today, it is about when Jesus waited on purpose to go see Lazarus, who was sick, and he died. And so it's a story where his timing seems to be too late. But if you know the story, you know that God brings much more glory to himself by waiting. So the verse is, yet when he heard that Lazarus was sick, he stayed where he was for two more days. John 11, 6. This miraculous story begins with the following declaration. Jesus loved Martha and her sister and Lazarus. That's in verse 5. It is as if God were teaching us that at the very heart and the foundation of all his dealings with us, no matter how dark and mysterious they may be, we must dare to believe in and affirm his infinite, unmerited, unchanging love. Yet love permits pain to exist. Mary and Martha never doubted that Jesus would quickly avert every obstacle to keep their brother from death. Yet when he heard that Lazarus was sick, he stayed where he was for two more days. What a startling word, yet. Jesus refrained from going not because he did not love them, but because he did love them. It was his love alone that kept him from hurrying at once to their beloved yet grief-stricken home. Anything less than infinite love would have rushed to the relief of those beloved and troubled hearts in an effort to end their grief, to have the blessing of wiping and stopping the flow of their tears, and to cause their sorrow and pain to flee. Only the power of divine love could have held back the spontaneity of the Savior's tender heartedness until the angel of pain had finished his work. Who can estimate the great debt we owe to suffering and pain? If not for them, we would have little capacity for many of the great virtues of the Christian life. Where would our faith be if not for the trials that test it, or patience without anything to endure or experience, and without tribulations to develop? So I think you all know the end of that story. He does raise Lazarus from the dead, and that is a way bigger witness and testimony than if he had gone and healed him. So you can read about it in John 11 if you want to. And here's a poem. Loved, then the way will not be drear, for the one we know is ever near, proving it to our hearts so clear that we are loved. Loved when our sky is clouded o'er and the days of sorrow press us sore, still we will trust him evermore, for we are loved. Time that affects all things below can never change the love he'll show. The heart of Christ with love will flow, and we are loved. Can you think of a time where you felt like God waited too long, or are you in that place right now where you feel like God's waiting too long to bring relief, comfort, and answer to prayer? Um, during that time, it is really important to know that we're loved. I went through kind of a crisis of faith several years ago where um, so many traumatic things had happened that I began to doubt the goodness of God. And it was really hard, but it was really good because I just had to work things out with him and come to the realization that he is a good father. He does give good gifts to his children. And part of those gifts includes suffering and pain. And it's just that our definition of good is not perfect because we can't see the end from the beginning. We can't see from God's perspective. So um, that's why the wait sometimes. That's why the yet he waited two more days. So let me pray for you. Lord, you are a good, good father, and your timing is perfect, and we just want to declare that today, and we want to praise you today for the good gifts that you give us, whether it's times of refreshing 
or times of suffering, Lord, to build character and Christ-likeness in us. Let us surrender, Lord, ourselves to that timing and put our trust in you, knowing that you can you can raise the dead. There, nothing is impossible for you. And so, Lord, if you wait, we wait with you. And we pray for patience and perseverance and even joy in, in the waiting because we know that you love us and we know that Jesus is with us. In your name we pray. Amen. Okay. Go and get loved on by God today. See you soon.